Hey, what's going on guys? Let's look at this problem right here. His question is asking, consider the signal x of t, write x of t in terms of unit step and ram functions. If you look at this graph, at the beginning it's starting with a unit step function. Whenever we have a direct jump, we know that is a unit step function. So we can say x of t is equal to u of t. So this is for until here because after that we have a ramping function, right? We have a ramp going up and the slope is 1. If you look at the points, at 1 it's 1, at 2 it's 2, so the slope is 1. And it shifted 1 unit to the right, so we had to put r t minus 1. Okay? And if you look at the next one, slope is 1, but it's negative 1 because it's going down. And uh, it's, it's falling from 2, so we had to put, since slope is negative, we had to put negative first. And then since it's falling from 2, we are looking at this point, falling from 2, we have to put a 2 right here, and it's a ramping function, so r. Then it shifted 2 units to the right, so we have to put t minus 2. Okay? And then if you look at this one right here, this is not a unit step function. Whenever we have a unit step function, we have to have a straight up or straight down. But here it's like after it's after the ramping function came here, this is a straight line. So this is not a direct drop or direct jump. So this is not a unit step function. So we have to write this one in terms of ramping function. So this is R and it shifted 3 unit to the right. So we put T minus 3. And if you look at the last row, look at this one right here. This is the unit step function because we have a direct jump right here. And then this is starting from 1. So we, it's going to be 1 in front, so it's going to be just u. But shifted 4 units to the right, so t minus 4. And that's going to be this one. After it reaches 5, it's dropping down. So we had to put a negative. So if it's going up, positive. If it's going down, it's negative. And this is also a unit step function, but it's going down from 2. You can see this is 2, right? 2 right here. So going down from 2. So we put 2, u and shifted 5 unit to the right because it's 5 we are looking at 5 so t minus 5 and that's going to be the expression for this given graph now to verify this one you can always take a point and look at it so if i put let's say we put po take point 2 let's verify at point 2 what's going to be the value of the graph so we are looking at at t is equal to 2 what's going to be the y value x of t value right now u is going to be, we replace all the t with 2, so this is going to be u of 2 and then r of t minus 2, so 2 minus 1, that's going to be just 1. And here we have negative 2r and t minus 2 is going to be 2 minus 2, that's going to be 0. And here we have 2 minus 3, that's going to be negative 1. And then here we have u of t minus 4, 2 minus 4, that's going to be u of negative 2, minus 2 of u t minus 5, that's going to be 2 minus 5 that's going to be negative 3 right so when I we'll look at this one we have a unit step function in the negative time so this is 0 and this is also negative time 0 ramping function negative 1 that's 0 and uh, r of 0 is also 0 we don't have r of 0 and r of 1 is 1 right at r of 1 is 1 and u of 2 is equal u of 2 is equal to 1 okay so these are the two things we have. So x of 2 is going to be equal to 1 plus 1, that's equal to 2. If you look at the graph, we have 2 at point 2. Also, let's like pick up another value. Let's say x of 5, that's going to be u of 5 plus r of 5 minus 1, that's going to be 4 minus 2 of 2r t minus 5, that's going to be 5 minus 2, that's going to be 3 plus 5 minus 3 that's going to be 3 again 5 minus 3 that's going to be 2 and then here we are going to have 5 minus 4 that's going to be 1 u of 1 and then minus 2 u 5 minus 5 that's going to be 0 okay now let's call it, go ahead and replace the values u of 5 is 1 r of 4 that's going to be just 4 minus 2 r of 3 that's going to be 2 times 3 plus r of 2 that's going to be just 2 plus u of 1, that's 1, minus 2u two, two of 0, 2 times 1. Let's calculate and see what we get. 1 plus 4, 5, 5 minus 6, that's going to be negative 1. 
negative 1 plus 2 that's going to be positive 1 positive 1 plus 2 po positive 1 plus 1 that's going to be 2 2 minus 2 that's going to be 0 and if you look at the x of 5 here x of t of 5 that's going to be that's 0 right here we have 0 so this is correct so from this one we know that our graph our expression is correct for this graph and that's how we do this kind of problems i hope this helps thanks for watching